Welcome in, everybody. Today is going to be a lot of fun. We are actually going to be diving into our own little town build that we talked about in the previous episode of 5B1C. I think this is going to be kind of interesting because I want it to be a smaller town, maybe a vacation spot that people can go and visit. So it's not going to be some bigger city. It's not going to have any big buildings or anything like that. I want to keep it rather simple and kind of homey, you know, just something a little bit more relaxed, a relaxed atmosphere, maybe like one street of town. And then the rest is primarily going to be residential and some beach areas. So if you are new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts about the build. Also, if you didn't know, we stream at twitch.tv slash slate 3k and we do have a Patreon if you'd like to continue to support the channel and the content. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what I want to do with this space. I told you guys in the last episode that I wanted to focus on this area being a little bit smaller, a little bit more of a compact town, maybe a summer retreat for some of the folks living in different parts of the city. I'm looking at this as a town, whereas the rest is more city oriented. So if that gives you an idea of scale, that's kind of where my head is at. You guys left some awesome suggestions in the comments on the last episode, but there was one in particular that stood out to me. And part of it was because of the terraforming. Steven suggested Adesto Island, South Carolina. Now, what's interesting about that is I thought that the marshes and the way the marshes sort of surround part of the town could be an interesting way of dividing up this space a little bit. So we're going to attempt that. Now, I realize we're at the base of mountains. However, since we're so close to the water level and I tend to really try to get as close as I can to the water level with my terrain, especially for beaches, I think there's an opportunity here to include marshes just to make it seem a little more dynamic, especially considering I think the space allotted for me to build is pretty big for what I had intended to do in the first place. Obviously, we could grow it and we can manipulate it later down the road, but I think I'm going to start with this idea of having some marshes come in to this land area and having the beach a little bit more limited versus a long, you know, Florida type of beach that sort of goes on forever. So let's hop to it. And I think what you're going to notice is that I'm probably going to do some moments of just like fast forwarding through some of the work I'm doing. And that's not to, you know, make you miss out on anything that I'm working on as much as it's just to try to keep the flow going. So we get the town build because obviously terraforming and some of that polish can take a little bit of time. So first, I want to start figuring out where some of that marsh area is going to be. I think initially when I was looking at this is potentially in here and kind of encroaching towards the highway. So I think this might be a good area. And then we could leave some of this to more of the beach. And I think we're going to keep the elevation change up here consistent. I'm not really worried about roads or where any of that's going to go, although I do think it would be have it'd be cool to have like a bridge coming into the town or something along those lines. So we may play with that as well. But let's get started. So first, I want to go ahead and try to work on our marsh area. I'm going to pause and I'm going to go in and find the height that I want to start working with, which is going to be right about there, I think. Uh, now, I'm going to first start doing this and I'm going to probably take away some of the trees. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be smoothing out the depth that this is at because I don't want it to be a cliff or anything like that. Uh, probably what I'll do as well is actually go in and start changing up some of the area to be closer to water level, like I mentioned a minute ago. So, for example, I'm going to go in and lower a lot of this in here. I should probably go a little bit wider to keep it kind of smooth and close to the ground. The one thing I don't want to see is cliffs or anything like that at the edge where the beach is going to be. Our sand texture is a little bit different, so we're going to have to uh, see what that sort of looks like and how we can utilize it, especially against the water. It kind of looks more like a rocky sand instead of just like a white sand beach. But that's OK. No big deal. All right. So we're going to start with this for our marsh, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and just sort of remove the trees in this area. I don't know what sort of tree mix I'm going to use like to, to place trees back in, but we'll have to see what we can come up with a little bit later. That's a little bit more down the road for us here. I'm going to go ahead and unpause and we're just going to start seeing if the water is going to start creeping in and then, you know, terraform as we go. So you can see we're kind of we're coming in here. It should fill in this space. I need to make it more interesting and, you know, probably a little bit more dynamic. So I think already what I'm going to do is I'm going to start opening this area up. Do you really want to keep this pretty smooth? And even if it goes up to the highway, that might be kind of cool. So you're coming in on this highway and you see the marshes next to you it wouldn't even be bad if it went to the other side along the mountain but that might be a little unrealistic given the height change that's happening there so maybe it's best to keep it a little bit more limited 
The other thing I think we need to do too is potentially have areas that are like higher within this space. So if we go in here and we just kind of include that, and then let me see if I can smooth this out. This might take a little bit of uh, of messing around with until we can get it right. The part of the thing that I know I'm gonna run into is just trying to make things look as organic. So you see, we kind of have like a shape there and I, I don't want it to look too much like a shape. I want everything to feel very organic and natural and not no straight lines, no specific shapes included. It still looks like we could go down just a hair in at least a couple spots maybe. Now the one trouble I think I'll have is just establishing some vegetation for the area and making it look marshy. I know we have some trees in place that we can use. I might have to go to the workshop and do a little bit of digging for just a couple of items that might add to what I want to create here. For now, I think a lot of this will be unused, except that we could potentially do a road that runs along the highway later. Now, that might be a longer term idea to have something coming back here and just a few houses, maybe back in this valley. So I'm going to smooth that out again. I don't want anything looking. So you see how this is working right here, almost like a little island. Like I like the way that looks a lot. I also want to start smoothing this out because I don't want you to see like the terrain changing too drastically. Just trying to sell the idea that this is a, a marsh of some sort, at least. Now let's remove the trees just so we can see a little bit more of what we're working with. I want to be able to track and see where the water's going and where it's landing in case I need to increase depth somewhere. Now I will say that doing anything like this, like if you can kind of figure out how you want to terraform areas, it's going to be a big help to making things look natural or more organic too. Finding little details like this that you can do. I mean, I say detail, but I'm using that kind of loosely here because this is a little bit bigger of a project, right? But doing stuff like this can make your areas look very, very dynamic. I've seen builders do like really cool rivers and stuff, not using canals as much as just trying to find ways of using just basic organic pathing. So you're just kind of drawing these curves and you're keeping it very loose. And then some shallow areas inside tend to look really, really good. So as you can see, we've got a lot of water kind of funneling through here. So what I want to try, and I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. I want to see what it would look like to have the water kind of coming through here. And like maybe, maybe it's really starting to get narrow, like almost like a creek, right? Now I do see that we have a little bit of a height dip there. So I'm going to smooth this out just to help me out when I'm doing some road work. And I know some of the trees are in the water. Just bear with me. I think what we also should do is come in here and maybe do like a little bit, a little bit of an island. Even if it sinks like back under the water, something just to break up the monotony of like, of just water, you know, anything we can do to make it look interesting. So let's kind of look at this from the sky here to see how we're doing. I think this is kind of neat. The trouble is really going to be able to sell the like overall look of it, which might be a little bit of a challenge. You know, if under normal circumstances with the assets I would typically run, we could go nuts. I know there's some decals we could use to make it look muddy. Uh, we may just have to play with a few things that we have without, you know, overloading our save file with anything too crazy. I could say like this would probably look really, really cool too with like very tropical blue water. All right, so I want to break up some of these smooth curves and I'm just kind of like spot like increasing height or leveling. This is very, very like organic, simple. You go and you can smooth some of that out and it's just to just to make it look like the water made this area and I didn't. <laughs> All right, so what I'm thinking is that this is going to kind of continue and it's going to be pretty narrow and it may just run back out to the water. Maybe that's where like our beach kind of ends is somewhere over here. Now, while we're doing this and we're letting the water kind of flow and see where it lands, I also want to go in and I want to smooth out our beach as much as possible. Uh, the reason for this is I, I, this is just something that tends to strike me as unrealistic is when I look at something um, in a build, right? And there's like this height line on the on like water or coastline. I don't want to see like cliffs on the edge, you know, I want to see, I mean, that's obviously possible, but I, if I'm doing a beach, I want to see like 
the beach and I want to see that sort of fade into the uh, into the water. So you can see we have kind of like a rocky sand. So I'm going to do it very, very narrow right in here um, and have it kind of fade out in a couple spots. So it's going to be a smaller beach. It's not going to be one of those that like eats up a ton of land space. Something like that I think we could get away with. I like the tree line attached to it as well. So you can already see this area starting to like really kind of take shape. Now I'm going to try something. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see what we have in here to potentially paint this a little bit. Ooh, that's going to be a little harsh, isn't it? Oh, we have a different grass texture that might be good for these little islands in here. Oh, look at that. Happy accidents, huh? That already helps sell our marsh so much. That might actually eliminate me needing to do heavy duty decal work to make that happen too. And guys, I would, I, I can't recommend enough. Like if you're trying to kind of customize your area and you really want some colors and some things to stand out differently from different cities, the mixer is such a nice thing to use. I have a tutorial of it on my channel. If you need a little bit of a breakdown of how to use that mod, but it is such a critical piece to how I build because I'm often sitting in, you know, the first couple of days that I start a city, I'm, I'm in the mixer and I'm basically just trying to get things polished out um, and figured out in a way that makes the city a look different from something I've already built, but also makes the city unique in its own way and applies well to like whatever the inspiration is too, you know? Okay. So I think one thing I want to do is I want to increase the depth here and we'll keep tweaking with some of the surface brush stuff and the textures we can use. Almost tempted to add like a little bit of a split here just to make it a little bit interesting, make it a little spicy. And then I'm going to smooth this out because we still have a pretty, pretty hefty drop off. So let's just try to get this to look a little bit more natural and smooth. And you can see the drop off is still pretty intense here. I wonder if we can sort of take this like that and just sort of expand the height a couple times in a couple of spots just to drag it out a little bit. But hopefully this kind of makes sense as to what I'm doing. I just want to like lighten up some of the cliff that we're seeing, at least in some of the areas where we want the beach. I don't want it to be just like that drop off is pretty intense, right? So. If we can smooth it out just a little bit, it doesn't have to be all the way to like the, to the sea floor, but something like this can just be a nice way to, you know, really sell the idea that it's a nice smooth beach. And I'm trying to do this in a way that keeps it nice and organic without looking too manipulated. Yeah. So now we have a better look of like shallow water too, if you see in there and then it kind of dives off. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. I mean, I know we're getting somewhere. That's probably what I need to announce. So sand isn't really going to compete with this, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah. God, I love doing these textures and things. I just want to see how we can continue to break into this area a little bit. Yeah. So it kind of does a little funky look there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, we're going to remove a little bit of this in some spots, right? And what I'm going to introduce is a little bit of sand. If I can get it to look right. It, I don't want that harsh line, right? So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to look the way I want, but maybe with some, you know, a little bit of messing around, we can make it happen. Especially maybe this is where it just needs to be more sand based. So let's go ahead and insert some sand and see sort of what we get out of it. If we kind of coat this area a little bit more effectively with, ah, it's a little bit rough. Hmm. I'm not sure how I got such a nice fade right here. <laughs> It's just when you start inserting the darker texture, it just doesn't want to play as well. So I think that might also be because I need to go in here. Yeah. We have to try to work on yeah something. See how it's like starting. It's just like a matter of how the fading with the sand works. So we're going to kind of try to, there we go. Now, now we're starting to see some progress here. Ooh, ooh. I went too far. To be honest with you guys. There's no perfect way to do this. <laughs> 
So I don't know if you guys expected to spend the first part of the episode working on this kind of stuff, but this is like super interesting to me. So I hope you guys don't mind. We also have um, some textures in here. I should have investigated this a little bit further earlier, but hopefully we can use a little bit of this, these sort of textures just to create some additional looks if we need them. That's, so I think the ore is probably a good one to use too. Just remember with Themixer, you can actually mark textures like ore or fertilized land as different textures. You could kind of make that whatever you want based on the themes that you have available. And then you can create totally different textures in your map or in your city. If you're wondering how I'm controlling it like this, I'm legitimately like, you can see my settings and I'm just going in and I'm tapping. And I'm wondering too, if I start to like decrease some of that sensitivity, if it'll, if it'll help too. Yeah. It's kind of splotchy, I think looks good. All right, so let's come over here and I wanna see how we can work on this area. So I'm gonna actually go back in and I know this is a little bit counterproductive. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna create this little, I'm gonna create this little island and I'm gonna add a little bit of sand to it. I might try ore as an option. Let's increase that a bit. See how you get a nice fade with the ore? It's a little bit more sensitive, but it can it can kind of work out to our favor too. And this is gonna help, you know, take out the monotony that we have. Like th that patchiness looks good in some spots, but I'm realizing after looking at it for a minute, that it might be good just to mix in some other stuff. So that is what I'm trying now is just to see if I can make this look a little bit better with just some sand patches in here. I don't want to coat the whole thing because I just want it to be very splotchy. I know I'm bouncing around a bunch, but it's just how my brain is working currently. Maybe we don't need to add another source. Maybe it works all right. So I'll just keep an eye on it as the water kind of figures out how it's going to be placed, how the home <laughs> that it's going to select. And we can kind of go from there. I do think that uh, we might want to add a little bit more sand in here. So I'm going to remove some more of this grass. And it, I think it does look really good under the water. So I'm going to lean on that. I just have to be careful with where some of these textures blend. Uh, because you can see it's very like, it, it creates like a harsh line. So I, I do want to be mindful of that, that it's going to coat over like the sand that I'm adding. And I, all I really want it to do is just... I, well, I want it to fade into one another, but that's that's like that can be kind of a hard task to manage at times. Now, if we take a step back, we look at the progress we've made. You can see we, we're starting to see the areas come to life a little bit with just some texture changes. And I think that's awesome. I'm pretty stoked about how that looks, honestly. I think the thing you have to keep in mind is just blending textures and just figuring out what works for you. I have found that the adding ore texture looked better than the sand. So we're going to make that upgrade in that transition. But it's just, you know, all balancing act and figuring out what looks best. All right, well, I look away and I look back and we have hit Grand City status. So we've unlocked some fun things, including the Power Plant Baseball Park and some waste processing. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I'm sure some folks will be excited about that. All right, so let's see how we can do the roads here. I will warn you, if you're somebody that, you know, prefers like the perfect situation for handling traffic, that's usually not something I dive into. I tend to build roads to be a little bit more realistic than just perfect roads for any situation. So my focus is going to be more so on creating something that looks like it fits the part versus the perfect uh, traffic handler. And uh, I know that's not everyone's necessarily, you know, not everyone's vibe or not ev something everyone's interested in, but just wanted to forewarn <laughs> that I am not the best road designer. That's just not my, uh, not my strong suit. So if things don't look great now, maybe they'll look a little bit better later. We will see. I'm going to focus more so on the build itself and tweak from there. And sometimes it just takes me a lot longer to figure out how I want to do roads, in all honesty. And I'll say one thing automatically that always gets me is doing situations like this. I tend to struggle with it a little bit. Even just when I'm building, like it's just not my favorite thing to do. I don't see roads like some people see roads. You know, like some people have just a knack for designing roads. And that is, that's just not something I have a knack for. And that's totally okay. I'm sure some of you feel the same way. That it's just not something you're, maybe you, you pride yourself on, or maybe it's not your favorite thing to do. And that's all right. I'm here with you. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little tweak here. And what I want is I want this road to actually be dropping down to this level. And that's a little bit low. So I'm going to kind of make it so that it, it drops a little bit less in, in an intense manner. And then I just don't want, I don't want the bridge to look like it's just kind of like leaning over. I have a thing about making bridges more level. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I also don't want that. So we have to have it kind of coming down to some degree. We still have a bump there. So we're starting to get a little bit smoother. Now, obviously, we want to clean this up. I don't want to see like intense cliffs next to the next to the highway. I kind of you're going to come in and like this is the first thing you see is the marsh. You got the bridge. That looks kind of nice. All right. So I'm debating how I want to come into town here. The idea is that we'd have like a main stretch of road in this area and then it would kind of split into two portions of the beach and then residential would be primarily back here. There's not going to be much commercial or anything like that. I'm not really sure if I'm going to add a ton of industrial, but look at how different this area looks. That's so crazy. Just a little bit of terraforming. I say a little bit. It's kind of a lot. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> so let's clear our pallet out a little bit. Um, let's see. What all do we have? in our arsenal of roads. Um, we have a two lane country road, which I think might come in handy. Obviously highways, monorail roads. Hmm. So let's just draw something out and see sort of where we land. I wouldn't mind doing like a little court area somewhere right here to break up and create a little bit of a grid. So let's back it up a little bit. And let's say we go to like a two lane one way let me see let's see if we can switch this out with that just to be a little bit consistent yes great again i don't normally use this road set so i'm having to learn i could even see some trees being like a cool addition maybe that might be a later ad when i get a little bit further in so let's get rid of some of uh this so i can really see what i'm working with I almost want to come off with one road. I just don't know how that's going to look. Like if we centered a road that came out here. So this just sort of broke up the monotony of just having one road into town. I don't know. I feel like that's an easy way to, to trip people up, but let's try it. Even if it comes to here and then turns along the beach. What does that sort of look like? Eh. It doesn't do a lot for me. Bad idea. All right. So a lot of the area is going to be just based off kind of grid, right? At least that's my intention. I do think we could have another break here potentially or like right inside the town where we could have, you know, another, you know, another row. But this is largely just going to be housing in this area that is just divided by a road here and there. I wanted to have this like kind of old us city vibe at least in this spot this is again vacation space nothing too crazy in here no big businesses or anything like that no tech clusters that's all for the big downtown we were working on in the last episode i do want to make sure this looks kind of dynamic and interesting so maybe some of you may not agree with the idea of doing like a little town square there but i think it'll be kind of cool it may seem a little odd that this road is just going to drive into what's already here, but again, just trying to create something that looks visually entertaining. Cause I think like you could put a park here or, you know, part of something could be a park. I probably should have made this wider to extend to here. Uh, so that like zoning would be nice and even, but I think this is just going to be some sort of like little park or maybe put a statue or something in the middle there at some point. So I need to see where we want to break off of here. And I feel like this might be a good spot. 
I don't want too many roads just to abruptly end. Obviously, you can do cul-de-sacs and things like that to help that, but I don't want to do too many where it's like every road's a cul-de-sac or every road just abruptly, you know, ends. So here's my dilemma now is I have basically two options to do a bridge that crosses this space. And I don't really want to cross that twice. I don't love this route right here, so I'm tempted to just cut this out and we might need to rethink that a little bit. And then maybe just have like a little bridge that runs just across here. Hey, this is something to work with. I don't know. You can obviously let me know what you think in the comments below. But uh, this is something to at least start with. Again, smaller town. I don't know if we need to like necessarily zone everything you know in the space like it could we could leave some spots open but i think this is a really neat little starting point to see what we can develop in here obviously we've got kind of the marshy area we need to add some trees and landscaping to uh we've got the beach that we can play some houses on i think in here what i would like to do is just a little bit of commercial in this space and see how it starts to develop if at all maybe no one wants to live here which is an entire possibility all right, so in just a couple of minutes, just off camera, I went and added some wind turbines in and a water tower. We've got a small water treatment building out here, which I may end up moving. That's just kind of temporary for the moment. All right, so let's start placing some buildings. I want to start here on this main road entering town, which is primarily going to be commercial, maybe some offices. We'll have to see how the offices do. Um, but I think our focus is just going to be creating like a little main street area just at the entrance to town, maybe a couple of buildings that don't fit in quite as well uh, i know we've got a gas station which is what i think you should see as soon as you get into town um and then what i would like to do is just build out some shops and some things like that think of uh you know an old american main street kind of setup um and i want to fill this in nicely i may have to alter a few buildings to fit sort of what i'm looking for but uh let's see what we can find i want to have a couple of bigger buildings like but nothing that tall just some things that really um you know fit the fit the theme we're after here i could also see a car wash being over here maybe and let's fix this uh terrain right here i know some buildings are gonna be asking for power for a minute until i get this built out but we'll we'll get there don't stress yeah, i don't think it's an issue if a few buildings are like a little bit you know taller it'd be great to have more like brick buildings like something like this i think is is pretty cool to have just a couple buildings like that uh, I don't want too many because, again, I don't want this to, like, scale up too big. But I think that's a kind of a good start. So you could just maybe envision a bunch of, like, little shops here. Uh, almost like we're, we're trying to... I'm trying to envision something that's more, like, mixed use, right? Um, sometimes it's hard to get that, that across without using some Steam Workshop assets. But we'll see how it goes. It may not even be bad to have, like... Uh, a couple of apartment style buildings or something like that. I know um, in part of Overcharged Ag's build, he had some nice little like townhomes, which I think would look really good over here. Just got to look around a little bit. I think I'm going to zone a lot of the residential that I mean to be houses, but I want to place some buildings in here uh, to start with. Like, I think this would be great off right off the square here. Now what I want to do is I want to like actually merge these buildings. So this is an easy way. Uh, if you guys mess with this, like, you know, combining buildings and trying to create larger buildings out of smaller pieces, it's actually a really great way to, uh, I don't know, to make things look a little more interesting. It's also very, very challenging to make things look super clean, but it once you, you know, if you start to get it, like it, it's pretty nice. So that's a nice like portion of a city block there taken up by that. And then what we can do is we can go in here and we can just finish that out maybe with one more building. Looks like we've got to tweak the position slightly, but that's not a big deal. So we can kind of go with something like that. And then I'm going to take it all and I'm going to shift it to cover up that little gap. There we go. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. Now it's like a big, you know, apartment building. Maybe there's some shops near it or under it or probably not. Just like little townhomes, I think, is what that's going to end up being. We could use something like this here as well. Again, just creating uh, the look that we want. So I'm starting to get the vibe that we wanted, right? It, it's it's getting there. It's just going to take a little time. 
I don't know if that really fits what I'm looking for. Which is bound to happen. That's a little bit too tall. So anything beyond that, I think, is just a little much for what I'm looking for. I wish we had just, like, you know, a bunch of, like, brick options for these areas. But this kind of reminds me of a hotel. I wonder if this would look super lost, like, back here. And then I think we sort of tapered down. A big thing that I like to focus on uh, with a lot of my builds is just making sure that there's like a nice fade from like a tall building down to uh, more reasonable size buildings. It's kind of a whole thing <laughs> that I try to do. Um, and I legitimately just call it the fade. We have to work out the fade. Uh, and a lot of people are aware that is something that I, I pay a lot of attention to and try to create because I feel like if you have a great transition from, let's say, a an upper portion or a, a denser portion of town wherever your peak is whatever that tall building is that is sort of designated maybe as your center point as long as you can make that slowly fade into the rest of town like you have a good um there's a good opportunity there that your city is going to kind of look more realistic and that's just my opinion in terms of how to like blend your town in better with its surroundings so so I'm thinking I'm actually going to take this guy out and we're going to move this guy over. I could feel that being like a, almost like a, it's a bank, but that almost looks like a clinic, you know? I'm going to take that building out. If you are unfamiliar with uh, the stuff that I usually do, this is legitimately the process I often go through. <laughs> it, it can be painstaking. It just sort of depends. A lot of times I have a pretty good idea of the buildings I want to use, but it takes often times like a lot of assets to create that that look that I'm looking for and it varies from build to build that's a little bit too space age for me that's not bad if it was a little bit more of a dense area I think I could see that working maybe the apartment complex is just too tall I'm going to give another second here and see if I can find anything that fits the area a little bit better even if maybe what we do, maybe we should switch this. Maybe this needs to be on the corner here, like a little hotel. You have the office building next to it. Spread them out a little bit. I feel like this might be a little more manageable. Something like that, perhaps. little cafe maybe all right so i think we have something that kind of looks or resembles a little main street um it's again it's not meant to be very dense just a few buildings in here and then pretty much the rest is going to be highly focused on residential with those random splotches of other things you know uh one thing i want to look at is how we can do this uh little area here and i was going to place a park but now i think i'm going to actually just do something very simple and just do something like this where it's just like a point where people can kind of walk through. And I need to fix that so we don't have two lights placed there. It's just like a little a little square in town. Okay. And now let's go ahead and start placing some zones. So I know I want this, these couple of blocks to be zoned. I also want to go ahead and add a school in, which I feel like could go... Maybe, maybe it just needs to be like over here. Um, we could also get a little high school placed. I wonder if I can tuck it here just to kind of fill in, you know, this space a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit play and let some folks start driving in. All right, regular tree small is what we want through here. Just to add some trees and some of this, uh, this residential. I think this will look nice. We're definitely starting to get this like old town feel from this, or at least I am. I'm going to zone this area as well. Maybe put like a house there if they would like. Well, the good news is people are moving in, right? It could be worse. Okay. I think we need some of the same treatment over on this side. So I want to go ahead and keep developing this area. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of that here. And here. As well as up here, probably in just a moment. I want to see how it all starts to balance out before I get too far ahead of myself. I think some of the houses maybe on the beach need to be placed. Or we're going to have to be kind of uh, a little bit more careful about how we lay that out, I feel. The next thing is I need to figure out what's going to go on this side. 
Um, I'm tempted to do some pathing and maybe do I have like, let me see what all we have here. I know we've got some basketball courts, which would be kind of neat, like tucked in back here behind the park, maybe hmm, something like that looks pretty nice. Then what I want to do is I want to bring this down here and we're going to have a path that leads up to like uh, more of a public beach area. There's probably some other things I can add to building wise that would fit this space. I do also feel like we might need a little bit of a um, a little bit of a parking lot here so that people that are coming in from out of town have a spot where they can just go and uh, park to visit the beach and stuff. I don't know. Let's try to even that out. There we go. And then, let me see. I'm almost tempted to say I should move this a little bit further down. So maybe this needs to align more so with like right there. So we're gonna extend this, extend this. Yeah, something like that looks a little bit cleaner. All right, so now I've got this set up. I'm having to make some tweaks because I wasn't really stoked about how it was coming together, but we're getting there. So we're gonna add a path there. I wanna sort of add a path that leads out to the beach potentially like that. And then I kind of want something that sort of runs up from maybe over here, but I need to figure out what needs to go there too. Cause I don't know if it should just be all pathing or if we should do like a little bit of extra work there just to make it stand out a little bit. Uh, let's go into, I don't think we have any baseball, small baseball fields. No, I think the only baseball field we have is the whole stadium, which doesn't really fit what I'm looking for. Let's see. We obviously could do a skate park. That might actually be kind of interesting. Right off the beach, is that's kind of nice, right? And then of course we could do we could do beach volleyball. I wonder if I could fit beach volleyball over here somewhere. Maybe we can. I don't know if the parking aspect of that looks a little bit redundant, but now I think this is also going to be residential. This will probably all end up being residential. Maybe we have a little bit more here. Uh, this is gonna actually add up to some very narrow houses if we're not careful. So let me grab something that I think might do the trick. We might just place a few houses so that we control a little bit more of that curve and how houses are gonna fit here. And I'm just gonna pick a little bit of a variety that are going to sort of be beachfront almost more so park front, but you know, we're getting, we're getting close to the beach at least. I'm overlapping a little bit of the residential there. So let's shift these this way. Don't want them covering up the sidewalk. All right. We need to get some power over here. I'm going to temporarily run this this way probably change as we advance all right so a little bit of a change i'm going to make is i'm actually moving these uh wind turbines over here for right now i feel like we need a better power solution i noticed over here just had no wind and i just totally blanked out on that and didn't accommodate appropriately so we have uh, a little bit more wind in this area they're already moving faster if you saw them in the background it was pretty pretty slow so i'm going to address that by uh just shifting them over if you saw some power needs even though it was all connected that's that's what was happening so um i think what we also need to prepare for is just having a uh, fire department which i think could be like right back here and uh just our basic services we need to tuck these guys in somewhere so we're gonna have a police station right behind some of the commercial and a clinic of some sort would be great. Maybe we throw that right over here. That's a good fit. All right, so basic services. Uh, we're getting there, man. We are, we're figuring it out. But as you can see, I think this is starting to come together nicely. Um, I may go in and replace some trees. I'm just not sure 
how much of that we should we should really do. Uh, let's see what else we can be doing here to make this area start to come alive a bit. I know you guys are probably anticipating working a lot on the beachfront, which I'm hoping to just get at least a little bit of it started so you guys can kind of see how that's gonna how that's gonna happen for me or how that's gonna work. I'm I'm also curious about getting it started. I think we're all just curious about how that's gonna work. I think this is just gonna be like a little park area. Just like a little walking space here. Now I need to see how this is gonna work at uh, at this point. Um, so I'm wondering if we have this road continue or maybe start to turn like so. And then let's see if we can do something as simple as just a little roundabout to end it. I don't normally do very many roundabouts, but I just feel like this is a good spot for one. Something like that here. And then what I think would be kind of cool is to see like a little path. Maybe we'll use this. Where folks can kind of come back here and see the, you know, the view. I'm definitely realizing how much more I can do to this area and how much I can build it out. Despite having done a good amount thus far, I just feel like there's a lot that can be done to really bring this alive. Hoping that in a future episode, we can really get some of these things more squared away. And let's try to smooth this out. I'm going to have to fix that little... awkward spot where the surface painter doesn't want to work very well. Now. All right, so we have uh, we have our path. This is where a lot of the beach houses are going to go. So back here, I just want to build out a little bit more in terms of residential. So we're just going to do some uh, almost like basic grids off this, I think. And I'm kind of keeping with this old theme of like little these roads with like the grass. I think it just looks nice. And we'll sort of I, I, it feels like a little bit old timey to me, maybe not to everybody. But and then we're going to have this road come in and intersect back this way. I'm going to use no controller to fix this intersection. Something like that it splits off a bunch. I feel like once this starts to build out, it'll look a little more interesting and dynamic. We could also take a path here and have this cross and kind of continue the park. Maybe it should be a straight line. I just thought that might be interesting to look at. So we got a little traffic. We got some houses popping in. It's really neat. So in an effort to condense time a little bit, I decided to speed up some of this part of the video. The focus was just trying to get a lot of the residential in, especially in areas that I hadn't really ventured to. And then I also wanted to start and establish a look for the marsh area with trees and stuff like that. So I've gone to a different set of trees that I've put together myself. It's kind of working, but it's not quite there. I think it's just going to need some tweaks. I tried to use some of the prop vegetation that comes uh, with the base game, but it just wasn't really sitting well with me. I'm not really sure why. I've used that underwater in some instances, but it wasn't working for me here. Regardless, I tried to use a mix of trees that felt a little bit different, like they belonged in that sort of biome of a swamp. Some of them almost look like they have like old Spanish moss hanging, like those kind of trees, you know, along with some mangrove type trees. And I think that was sort of the initial impression I had. And to a degree, it looked good on some areas, but it just also felt very thin. So I tried to add a little bit of depth to that using some other trees inside of the kind of thinner trees and just try to layer those together to create some density. And I think to some degree it was effective, but I may be overdoing it. So it's just something I'm going to have to kind of keep looking at until I find like a nice way of blending it all together. In general, I think sometimes it's tough to create the sort of thickness you want in brush or with like forests. So it's just kind of playing with it until you figure it out. I do think the tree cover we have in place is a good starting point for how to make this area start to come alive and look like a marsh. I want to hop back into the city a little bit and we're going to go add some more zoning, especially down to this end here. And it's just going to run a strip of housing out here. And we're kind of getting to the edge of the city. I don't know that I'm going to do much zoning uh, in this area, really. I want more of the zoning and the density focused over here. Uh, we do have a little bit of traffic, but I feel like that's kind of expected given our setup. 
Otherwise, everything seems to be working as needed. Hopefully. All right, so I had a thought and I went to visit the Steam Workshop, which is often a pretty dangerous place for me to stay for very long. And I remembered that I had some houses that I used on a beach build not too long ago that were stilt houses. So now I think we have the beach look that we're gonna be looking for. So if you're familiar with some areas that you'll have like these houses and we can get a better look, I think, at what this is gonna create, especially along the beach front. So I think that is the route we are going to go, everyone. Now it's just a matter of making this look the way we want. Obviously we have sprites, so I'm gonna have to remember how I can handle that situation as well. But first and foremost, let's get some, um, I wanna get like the range of these in so that I can then go in and start to make some tweaks uh, using BOB because we have some extra, extra trees uh, that we don't really want that are not gonna look as good as some of our other stuff, so. And obviously we got a little bit poking through. So I want to see if I can actually get rid of that using an, another asset I grabbed, which is this guy, which is just a little brush. And I can. That'll help a little bit. It's not going to look perfect, but that's better than, um, better than what we had, right? Better than the sprites cutting through the concrete. So there we go. Now I need to go into here and I need to alter some of these trees and plants that are popping up just to look a little bit better. But you can already tell like these fit the beach theme, right? Like, in case water came up, like, they're higher uh, than the, like, average house. So, it's to protect the house a little bit. So, this is pretty popular, I know, in, in a lot of East Coast areas. I'm not sure about West Coast, but let's see if we can go ahead and get some of these trees switched out. Okay, so I've gone in and I've replaced all the trees and bushes with stuff that looks a little bit better. And this is kind of what we have now. Now you can see, like, hey, this is starting to look more and more like uh, a beachfront, which I think is pretty great. Uh, the one thing I will say is I wish I had a little bit more of an option for sand. Maybe I can uh, get a decal at some point to uh, kind of add some sand into some spaces just so it looks a little bit, um, you know, like it, sometimes when you're at beaches, it just looks like the sand is just everywhere, you know, even even like out <laughs> across the street, you'll have sand and stuff like that. So it may be that if I keep playing with it, you know, in some areas, I can get like these little patches and things just to like lighten up some of the grass. I think that'd be kind of neat. Um because sand just, you know, it goes everywhere. Now, I'm going to keep this pretty simple, at least for now, for our initial build here. And I'm going to be utilizing the same rotation of houses sort of throughout the area. I think these are all of them. And uh, we're just going to place them in and then drop in that um, one asset to help with the terrain to make sure the sprites don't cut through. But I do think it is a pretty good setup to to establish along the coastline here. I think also what I'm going to need is maybe a prop or two along the beach just to help liven it up a bit. And um, we'll be good to go. And kind of what I can do is I can just take these in random chunks just to mix it up and place them along the street. And then you start to get that look of like, these are all the little summer vacation homes. You can just walk right out to your beach and uh, yeah, hang out and enjoy the day. All right, so we have our um, some of these houses in. Let's go ahead and add our surface brush asset just to make sure that we cover up the sprites cutting through. This is kind of a oops. This is kind of a simple trick in order to just make this look a little cleaner. Again, not a perfect fix, but it'll do. It'll do just fine. I can also fix this issue here. Probably not a perfect fix, but we can tweak that. I can work with that. So now we've got a nice little beachfront set up. And I think it's time we start adding some details in terms of just some basic tree coverage and things like that. I want to focus very much on one thing that I try to do in some of my cities. And if I had more time, I would break it down a little bit further. But a lot of times when I'm putting in houses, if I'm zoning or, or whatever the format is, I tend to go back with tree brush and I'll actually add trees and density in between the houses. And to me, it kind of makes some of the houses stand out a little bit more and fills in some of the dead space, like backyard trees, maybe a couple in the front yard. Just a kind of a simple thing to do. I'm doing it a little kind of crazy right now in the video, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to accomplish. And just I'm trying to fill in space that is otherwise just flat and there's nothing interesting there. This is something you could do just to give some, again, density 
to some of your neighborhoods, street blocks or, or spaces in your towns that just need like a little bit of vertical height. I will say, regardless of where I end up, like finishing this episode, there's a lot more that I could be doing and adding in. And I, I very much think this city build is sort of in progress. There's nothing about it that's fully complete. Oh, I'm also noticing that I messed up my roundabout, but I'll fix that later in the video. Now, I will say that what I would probably go in and add in a future episode is to finish out the river detailing. Obviously, it's still kind of flat with a lot of green. And then I'm probably going to look at the assets I'm using for the tree coverage around the marsh and around the river and just try to blend it in better with some of the trees I'm using in town. I wanted some sort of separation there, but it's not quite registering the way I want. And I'm going to actually play the video and let you guys see a little bit of time lapse of some of the details I add in the last little bit here. And uh, I'll be right back. So that's just a little bit of progress. It wasn't all just detailing. Some of it was actually adding more of the still houses along the beach line, but I think this gives you a pretty good idea of where I want to go with this town. I think there's plenty more that we can do, but we spent a lot of time establishing the terrain and the area that we were going to build within. Just doing the marsh and the river, I think, like sets this area up very nicely. It just needs more detail work, but that'll happen hopefully over time. And if you have suggestions for what we could add or some ideas of things that we could do, please drop them in the comments. It was actually really helpful to read what you guys thought and some suggestions and all that and i hope this is kind of living up to that expectation of what i put forth in terms of what i wanted to do here i believe the next couple builders are going to be a guest builder in sanctum gamer and then also yumble will be coming up shortly be sure to check down in the description below for the links to everybody's channel go check these guys out they're amazing hopefully i'll have more time to spend on this town and i can't wait to see how the whole area develops as all the builders get a chance to work on it anyways if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button check us out at twitch.tv slash k and i'll see you guys next time